the concern over 5G and flight safety. Following the announcement, Air India resumed flights from India to the US with the first flight for John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York departing in the morning. Flights to the United States from India resumed on Thursday as the Federal Aviation Administration cleared the landing of more aircraft even in low visibility conditions despite the rollout of C-band 5G technology. Following the announcement, Air India resumed flights from India to the US with the first flight for John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York departing in the morning. Why had Air India suspended its US flights? On January 14, the FAA warned that the rollout of new 5G technology by AT&T and Virgin is the allotted of 3.7 to 3.98 GHz band could potentially lead to interference with the onboard instruments such as radar altimeters. Commercial passenger and cargo airlines had also warned of an impending catastrophic aviation crisis if the rollout of 5G went ahead as planned. Early on Wednesday, Air India announced it would not be operating eight India-US flights on Delhi, New York, Delhi, Chicago, Delhi, San Francisco sectors that day due to deployment of 5G communications in the US. Besides AI, US-based American Airlines and Delta Airlines operate direct flights between the countries. These carriers too cancelled their flights on Wednesday. The deployment of 5G by AT&T and Virgin, two of the biggest wireless communication service providers in the US, has triggered concerns among airlines, who have said that the frequency used by the telecom companies is very close to the frequencies used by onboard instruments such as radar altimeters, which operate in that 4.2 to 4.4 GHz range. How do flight radar altimeters help in safe flight operations? For all airborne vehicles and aircraft, spacecraft or even a missile, an altimeter is crucial to cause the altitude and the distance covered. Altimeters are of three main kinds, barometric, laser and radio or radar altimeters. Most commercial passengers and cargo aircraft use a combination of all these altimeters along with global positioning system to determine their path as well as factors such as height above sea level presence of high rises, mountains, and other obstacles, and the likely flying time. The radio or radar altimeter is a very small, low-power radar system that operates in the 4.2 to 4.4 GHz frequency microwave C-band. The high frequency of these altimeters enable aircraft makers to install small antennae that produce powerful signals that can relayed quickly and accurately. Why is there concern about radar altimeter interference specifically in the US? Although the rollout of 5G by telecom service provider has been a cause of concern for aviation everywhere, the situation is critical in the US which has auctioned 5G bandwidth in the 2021 in the 3.7 to 3.98 GHz on the C band spectrum range. This band is very close to the 4.4 to 4.4 gigahertz range in which radio or radar altimeters operate airline companies have complained. According to industry experts, there are chances of interference of the two bands as telecom service operators in order to extract the full value of 5G and give customers the best experience, push operations to the highest band possible. Altimeters too need to operate at higher frequencies in order to get the most accurate readings possible. What is the situation in India? In India where 5G is yet to be rolled out, the frequency range for 5G telecoms operations is pegged around 3.3 to 3.68 GHz. It is learnt that the Federation of Indian Pilots has in its meeting with the Department of Telecommunication expressed concern about the frequencies being close together. The DOT however assured them that there would be no interference as the frequencies for commercial 5G services were at least 530 MHz away from those used by altimeters. Thank you.